Good morning, everybody. I am here in Encino, California. Now, if you're watching this video, that probably means that you're looking to move to Encino. Uh, maybe you live in Encino or in one of the surrounding areas and you wanna learn more about it. Uh, either way, I'm gonna be able to help you with that. Uh, if you're looking to relocate to the area, obviously you're gonna want an idea of what it's like to live here, uh, what the neighborhoods are like, and I'm gonna help you figure that out. Uh, we're gonna take a look at some of the commercial areas, some of the historic areas, and then we're also gonna take a look at some of the residential areas. We're gonna take a look at some homes at a few different price points. So you can take a look at all of the different neighborhoods and see what might be right for you if you are looking to, lo to relocate to the area. Um, now at this channel, uh, if you like what you see, or if you're interested in learning more about Encino and more about the suburbs of Los Angeles, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Uh, hit the little bell icon to be notified of more videos. We'll have videos every week. Uh, of new areas to learn and love in, in, in the suburbs of Los Angeles. Now Encino is a suburb of the San Fernando Valley and it's located in the most southern and most central part of the San Fernando Valley. Uh, it is neighbored to the north by Reseda, uh, over to the west it's neighbored by Tarzana and over to the east by Sherman Oaks. Now Encino is a place that's really near and dear to my heart. Uh, one of the reasons being that I've actually lived here for more than half of my life. Uh, and one of the things I remember from when I was a kid here is actually just right behind me. Um, we're in this little park area. Um, we're actually uh, right on Louise and Ventura. And you'll see they split Louise right here to make room for this little monument. Because right behind me is the stump of a tree. And that's called the Encino Oak. Uh, that tree was over a thousand years old when it finally went down in 1998. I remember when that tree was still up when I was a kid. Uh, but in 1998, an El Nino storm actually finally took it down. Um, but this tree was over a thousand years old, over a millennium. Uh, when Europeans first laid eyes on this area, um, this tree was already 700 years old. Uh, and as a matter of fact, the, the name Encino is actually a Spanish word for evergreen or home oak. And the legend has it is that it's actually named after that particular tree. So as you can see here, they actually have a little um, sitting area. There's benches nearby uh, where you can come and uh, take a little break from all the noise of the surrounding uh, Ventura Boulevard that's right over here. Um, you can bring your kids here and tell them stories about, you know, the old Encino Oak and uh, how you used to be able to look at it when you were a kid. So I look forward to doing that with my kids one day. Um, but this is uh, speaks to uh, sort of the heart of Encino uh, in that it's a it, it's a affluent suburb here in Los Angeles. There's a lot of activity, but you know, they really keep tradition and history sort of near and dear to their heart uh, and neighborhood and community is very important to the people here. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other areas that we have close by. Now I'm on Ventura Boulevard right now, right here in the heart of Encino, and you'll see right behind me is the Encino Commons. Um, that's the name for this whole area, which basically you can think of as maybe the downtown area of Encino. Uh, but you'll see, you're gonna find absolutely everything that you need here. Uh, over on this side, we've got some boutique shops, restaurants, uh, over behind me over here, we have everything from, you know, you have your Chili's and your Michael's, uh, and then you also have some really wonderful restaurants, great restaurant here called More Than Waffles, that's always like packed to the brim. Uh, you'll also see that there's a Lemley movie theater there. Uh, the great thing about the Lemley Theater is that they don't just play all the major hits, they play some of the art house films. So, you know, when you see some of those award season movies coming out that are for limited releases, you'll find them right here at the Lemley. That's what kind of gets me excited. Ventura Boulevard in general, as you look up and down, like I said, it runs the entire length of the valley. Um, it's got absolutely everything that you could possibly need from shopping malls, to movie theaters, to parks, to schools, places of worship high-end dining to every fast food restaurant that you could possibly need as a resident. So, you know, this this really is sort of like the heart of the area. Uh, and then it's also a heart of the neighborhood as well. All of these businesses, once a year, right down here over by uh, Encino Elementary School, which we'll talk about later, they close down a number of the roads. And once a year they have what's called a taste of Encino. And all of these stores all come, they all have a booth and they're able to sort of like share with their community, spread the word, get words out about small businesses, large businesses as well. Uh, and it's really a, a way, another way that Encino focuses on building a sort of a sense of community and neighborhood. So um, again, really, really cool place to come. Uh, let's take a look at a few of the, of the other places as well. Okay, so we're currently in an area known as um, Encino Village, and this is a residential area, strictly residential. 
Uh, and then this is uh, about a mile north of where we just were from Ventura Boulevard. Uh, and this is just kind of a small pocket. It's just a number of streets with a few cul-de-sacs. Um, and there's a number of amazing um, options for single family home if you're in the market here. Um, we're coming up on one of the single family homes that's on the market. Um, it's currently the lowest one in this particular area. It's a four bedroom house uh, currently listed for 750,000. Um, and that puts it roughly at $500 a square foot or so. Um, but in this area, homes range from anywhere between, between about 750,000 and the highest one I think listed at the moment is about 1.6 million. So average homes in this little section here, it's about 1.2 million or so. And you see there's the house right behind me there in the corner. That house right there is the one for 750. So uh, as you can see, a four bedroom you know, home about 14,000 square, uh, 1,400 square feet um, is what uh, is where your money can go basically in this area. So as you can see, it's a pretty nice little home there. Um, I don't think it's uh, updated too much on the inside. Many of the homes in the areas uh, and in this area uh, were built around the 1950s. And then as they're selling them, they're updating them quite a bit. So there's a lot of options for new updated modern homes in this area even though it's a nice quiet residential neighborhood but then you have options like this as well where you could purchase it for a little bit lower put a little mon money into it and give it a little TLC and make it the home that you know you always wanted to kind of live in so you do have that option as well um, all of the homes in this area are all in a, uh, a great area for the local school which is Encino Charter Elementary which we'll take a look at uh, and um, uh, it's just a nice quiet residential neighborhood really one of my favorite little pockets uh, to kind of be in you can take a stroll and uh, there's hardly any traffic uh, most of the main traffic is uh, delegated or relegated to the uh, uh, major streets nearby so really the only people here are the people that are living here uh, nice quiet neighborhood Okay, so right behind me is an area known uh, as uh, Amistoy Estates, and we are going to be taking a look at this area um, and showing you a couple of the homes that are um, available. But I would be remiss, however, if I didn't take advantage of uh, this tour to show you the 101 Freeway, uh, which is actually right on the other side of this street. I'm going to cross right now. Now, the 101 Freeway, excuse me, it's going to get a little bit loud, but as you may or may not know, if you're from the area, this is... Um, your major freeway to take you to all of your favorite places here so look there she is there's the 101 uh it's about what 10 30 or so on a weekday and oh look at that uh lovely los angeles traffic but listen they're all probably going to los angeles so you got hollywood about 15 minutes that direction downtown los angeles is only about 20 25 minutes away and then on the opposite side they're all probably going to the beach uh, just about 15 minutes that direction, uh, you've got exits to Las Virginis and Canaan, and that's going to take you to little canyon roads that go straight to the beach. Um, so in addition to just being situated well in the valley, um, Encino is actually very well situated to be very close to the 101 freeway, which will take you anywhere you need to go. Um, so if you're living in Los Angeles and you're, and you're okay with a commute and you're looking for a nice place to live that's not in the city, and Zeno is a great option because you do have a lot of uh, ways to get there. Okay, so here we are in an area known as Amistoy Estates. A lot quieter away from that 101 freeway. Um, but basically where we were before in Encino Village, that's at the um, the northernmost portion of Encino. And then as you move a little bit further south, you hit the 101 freeway. And then right between the 101 and Ventura, you have this area right here. Now this is some pockets of really, really nice homes. And a lot of famous people have lived here. Um, I forgot to mention earlier that um, we actually passed by uh, what used to be comedian Dana Carvey's house. Uh, you had people like uh, um, uh, Selena Gomez lives in the area. Uh, the late, great uh, Phil Hartman actually had a home here in this area. Uh, Yasiel Puig from the Dodgers actually had a, a home right over in this area as well. Um, so uh, a lot of really popular uh, uh, celebrities and you know, have homes in the area and this home actually right behind me is actually currently for sale um, this is a four bedroom home as well kind of like the one that we just looked at in Encino Village except that uh, this one is uh, 
four bedroom, four bath, and this is about 2,000 square feet. So it's currently on the market for about 3.6 million. So as you can see, just a, a few streets difference, uh, cre you know, really makes all the difference. Um, so also in this area, just right around the corner, it's Encino Elementary School, which we're gonna walk to next. Okay, and here we are. I've mentioned it a few times, but uh, right behind me here is Encino Charter Elementary. Uh, I bring it up because um, it's actually the school that I went to uh, when I was a kid, and uh, my kids are actually at that school right now. Now, Encino Charter, charter Elementary, um, it is a charter school, and it's consistently rated one of the best schools in all of the valley. Um, so it's just something that I'm kind of really proud of, and I you know, take a, a advantage to point it out whenever I can. Uh, but right around, uh, right across the street from Encino, you'll see right behind me here, we have a beautiful park. This is Encino Park. Um, and Encino actually has a number of parks that are very well maintained. Uh, as you can see here, Encino Park offers uh, some tennis courts over there. There's a play area for the kids. Now, right over there, right on the other side of the park is Ventura Boulevard. Um, so this park is just right off of that main drag. And as you can see, sort of a theme here in Encino is everything is sort of anchored to uh, Ventura Boulevard. So, um, you know, like I said, it offers all of your dining and your entertainment, but then right off the street, you have a park like this. Um, and then uh, uh, one of the parks that we haven't taken a look at, there's also Balboa Park, which is the largest park in Encino proper. Uh, and then attached to Bal Balboa Park is Balboa Recreation Center. Uh, there's more tennis courts there, basketball courts, and they have a, uh, they have a whole center there where uh, they offer everything from karate classes to adult education classes. Um, that's where, you know, your local uh, polling place is when you go to vote. Um, so uh, Encino just has all of that to offer just right here, very close. Um, uh, another thing I just wanted to take a mention, uh, uh, we've taken a look uh, at some of the commercial areas. We've taken a look at uh, some of the residential areas so far. And just while it's quiet, I want to take a moment. You're probably asking yourself why I haven't mentioned this already, but um, obviously Encino is maybe most famous for being featured in uh, The Karate Kid. Uh, and uh, as you remember, um, Johnny Lawrence uh, and Allie Mills, uh, they actually were from Encino and Daniel LaRusso was uh, over from up north in Reseda. And then of course, in the sequel series, Cobra Kai, uh, uh, Daniel LaRusso got himself a nice house in Encino in the area that we're about to go to right now. So even in pop culture, moving to Encino means that you're moving up in the world. So uh, next stop is the Encino Hills uh, next to Daniel LaRusso. So we're in a neighborhood now known as the Encino Hills. Uh, and uh, in actuality, the Encino Hills is actually the northernmost slopes of the uh, Santa Monica Mountains. Uh, and to orient you further, uh, if you were to head south over those mountains, the closest neighborhood to us, to our south, is actually Brentwood, which is one of the most affluent neighborhoods um, in all of Los Angeles, actually. Um, now, if you look at these homes right here, right on the other side of those homes, is uh, one of the hills that we have here and it slopes all the way down and what that does is it allows for construction of not only just these high-end homes but really these sprawling estates um, so some of these homes right here which may look to even be one story are actually multiple stories going down that hill so as you can see over my shoulder you can see the hills just kind of sprawling there um, and uh, one of the houses that we're going to take a look at right now just right behind me um, this home is currently on the market for about seven and a half million, seven four nine five, um, and uh, it sprawls about seven thousand square feet, so that puts it at about a thousand dollars a square foot. And uh, you can see it's a little deceptive because in the front it looks just sort of like you know just a small one story, but it sprawls all the way down. It's multiple levels. It has a pool all kinds of brand new construction um, and they're able to really create not just these high-end homes but these just like sprawling estates because the hillside you know gives them the ability to do so it also offers uh, an abundant amount of uh, privacy the area that we're in right now from ventura boulevard where we started out the video this was only about a five minute drive to get up here so you can see very quiet very private um, you know, a lot of uh, high-end homes, uh, affluent neighbors. Um, so if this is something that you're looking for, uh, there's plenty in the area that's available. Right now, um, we're looking at homes, you know, between two, four, five million dollars. This one for seven and a half. And then of course there are the larger 
even larger estates um, for up to right now 13 million. Um, so there's a lot of options if you're looking for something private, if you're looking for something upscale, affluent, and you want to have you know access to everything that Encino has to offer you, um, but you want to get away a little bit, um, this is a great neighborhood. Okay, so at this point, um, you've gotten to know a little bit about Encino. You've learned how it's situated geographically. Um, you've learned about all of the major shopping and commercial needs you may need. We cover a few of the residential areas. Um, I hope this was really uh, helpful for you. Uh, again, if you're looking to move to or around Encino, it's an absolutely beautiful place. It's a place that I absolutely love. Um, and I am thrilled to be able to help people you know, get all the information they need to move here and be, you know, happy residents here. So uh, again, if you have any questions um, or if you're looking to move to Encino, please give me a call. Happy to make that move really, really smooth for you. Um, happy to share all of my information. Uh, this has been sort of like a general dive into Encino. Uh, hopefully it was very helpful to you. And uh, follow me for some more in-depth points uh, about the LA suburbs.